So my mates, they're getting into bikes, and the first thing they ask is, what sort of boots should I get? What sort of helmet should I get? What sort of... And I say, the first thing you've got to get is a boiled egg for your breakfast. And you need one of these. I don't know whether you've seen one of these before, but you pop it onto the egg like that, stick it on. You give it the Red Bull factory click, and you remove, and that egg is ready to rot. So start your day on an egg, and then we'll go and have a look at some motorbike boots. Okay, so we've had breakfast, let's get straight into it. We were gonna go out and ride our bikes, but it's just started to drop it down with rain. So I thought I'd just mess about with my camera and show you what I know about motorcycle boots. So the first pair I ever bought were these. They're called Former Adventure. They retail for £179. They're Gore-Tex, so they're waterproof, which is really, really good. They're super comfortable. They're very light. They've got a, uh, a really nice leather um, upper, a rubber sole, some injected molded protection on the front, a little bit of reinforcement on the ankle, but they're more of a comfort thing, more of a trials bike thing, more of a, a sort of a road biking adventure boot. I rode with these boots on through some gnarly little sections in the Peak District. They call it the Donkey Steps. A little bit of a rock sticking out on the edge. Caught my foot and uh, taught me two things. The boot doesn't offer much protection and get up on the balls of your feet. Don't let your little tootsie pegs be sticking out and uh, prone to injury. But they are nice. They are waterproof. So long as the water doesn't come above the gator, the inner of the boot's waterproof. The factory's... Um, Claims to be Italian, 20 years plus of experience making motorcycle boots, which I don't doubt. Um, but it does say inside that they're made in Romania. The quality seems quite good. They're not hard wearing. This is the second pair of boots that I've had. They must be good because I bought a second pair. I bought them for the trials bike because they're light and comfortable and give you good feel of the bike. Um, I probably wouldn't um, wear them on the more harder going stuff, although... A video I'm watching at the moment, a guy's on a GS going around the world and he's got these boots. So it's up to you. It's all in the opinion. It's what you're comfortable with, what sort of riding you're going to be doing. Um, and the former's coming in at 179 quid. They're, they're a nice, comfortable adventure boot. Number two, the next step up, is the Siddy adventure boot. Now, a little bit heavier, nice grippy sole lots of protection a good stiff boot not a motocross boot but still nice and stiff plenty of collect, um, protection around the ankles two buckles one velcro again siddy uh, it, it doesn't say it doesn't say where it's made but again a Gore-Tex inner a waterproof boot and this is my go-to boot. I've been all around Europe in it, been backwards and forwards to Spain. Um, it's not it's not tall, so it doesn't come right up to the bottoms of your knees. But it is a very, very comfortable boot. You can be comfortable in it all day long. It offers a lot of um, a lot more support than the former boots. These retail for about two. I would highly recommend this particular model. Nice grippy, they're comfortable to walk in. There's not really any downside to the boot, um, from what I can tell. And when they were new, the grey, the like the, the grey suede and the black, it really pops. And uh, I think, um, yeah, I was quite impressed with the, the city boot. So you can see they're about the same height as the former. Um, these were probably the second pair of cities I bought. They're called the City Crossfire. Um, not quite sure how much they cost, but they're a bit more expensive, I think. They're bulletproof. They are ventilated. They're a summer boot, in my opinion, because if you get any water anywhere near them, they just go straight through to your feet because of all these vents and stuff. Although I do see the guys doing the, the hard enduro, they wear them too. Um, it's quite a heavy boot. 
It's got a, a fairly grippy sole. It looks like it's uh, had some action. Uh, not wore them a lot. Um, they're really, really stiff. Um, they're bling. They look the business. I think they look really cool. And they offer a lot of support. It's like a big, solid rubber plastic foot and i mean you can hit it with a hammer it's it's a very very strong competitive motorcycle boot and uh it does a lot of damage to the bike so all up the inside of the bike the plastics the frame it takes all the paint off um but it offers massive protection and i think they look quite sweet as well my other boots that I've had, that I've tried, nice and clean, the Tech 7 Gore-Tex. This is an old Pine Star boot. The clasps, um, you need to have like big mechanics hands to shut the shut the clasps down. They're quite cumbersome. Um, they take a lot of effort to get on and off. They're very thick and padded inside, so if they do get wet, they take forever to dry out from the inside if the water goes in over the top. It's got like this inlay on the boot, and what I was talking about with those boots damaging the bike, the bike damages these. You can see the, the inlay started to peel, but the service that you get from Dirt Bike Express is very, very good. And I would recommend Dirt Bike Express with the TRF code. I think it's TRF10, it gives you 10%. So, so that's good. They're the three boots, the one, two, three, four, the five different style, styles of boots that I've owned that I've given a good workout. And, um, if I could only have one pair and it would be a tough call because these are for the road trips, for the touring um, with a little bit of um, TT or sort of gravel roads, that sort of riding. These sort of boots are for the, the sort of the full on enduro days, the green laning days to offer you a lot more protection. So I hope you found that informative. I'm going to go now and ride my dirt bike.